Hi and welcome to a new episode and to one that will give you one way of making a cup of coffee that will blow your mind. Both that it is super easy to use and because the coffee gets so damn good. I'm talking about the Soto Helix coffee maker. I made a video not too long ago about making a good cup of coffee when out on the trail. And the choice I made was to go from using instant coffee to the Soto Helix coffee maker. Now I have used the Soto Helix on my hikes since then and I thought it deserved its own review. So today I will talk about the pros and the cons from my experience using it. We all know that Soto is a great manufacturer for stoves like the all famous Windmaster and the Soto Amicus. But they also do other stuff like sporks, lighters, lanterns, fuel bottles, windscreens, mugs, and also a coffee maker. The Soto Helix coffee maker is a collapsible coffee maker for two people and made out of flexible high-grade stainless steel. Actually, it is nothing more than a filter holder for the number two filter, and it is lightweight enough also for the ultralight hiker, only 52 grams. And it is foldable, so it will take up like no space, and it includes three feet. One, two, three. So you don't have to hold it while pouring your hot water into your cup with the risk of burning yourself. Like I said, the Helix weighs 52 grams, the included small mesh bag weighs 12 grams, and about 10 of those number two filters weigh about five grams. So all in all, 69 grams with 10 filters included. Well, it is not super light, but uh, for what it is, I think it's okay. Now let's make a cup and try. And like you can see, I brought my coffee in a small plastic bag with a clip and a small measurement cup also to get the, the measurement correct. But of course, you can just use your spoon. Okay, I start by unfolding it, of course. And then I put it on my folder cup. I just love that cup. Then we add the fitter and the amount of coffee that we want. I add like three spoons of coffee, but that of course depends on what the type of coffee you have and your own preference. Okay, now we just boil some water. Okay, so now the water is boiling like you can see. We just take it off and then uh, pour it slowly over the, uh, the coffee. It's also nice to have a little bit of heat coming from the flames. So it is just slowly pouring down into the cup. It takes some time. Let's also have these few last drops. Okay, that's it, I think. Now let's uh, taste the coffee. Tastes great. Perfect taste, really. This is a this is a good cup of coffee. Mm hmm. And if I wanted to make another cup, I just add one or two spoons in the same filter and just use it again for the second cup. Now, like you could see, it is really nothing to it to make the perfect cup of coffee. And the benefits of using the Soto Helix, I would say is, it's a fairly lightweight solution. It folds down to a very compact size. There is no fuss and easy to make a cup or two. And it would probably last for a lifetime or two. Good coffee. And now about the cons. And for sure, there are a few. The weight. Even if it is lightweight, it is 69 grams of added weight. Waste. Even if it's only one filter a day, it is still more waste than if using instant coffee. Price. I would say that 249 Swedish crowns is a bit much for a filter holder, 
and that there are cheaper options out there. Now, of course, instant coffee is the lightest option. But in my experience, to find the really good instant coffee in your local shop is difficult. So you have to order it online and then it gets a little bit too expensive and you have to plan for it. Otherwise, you will not have it for your hike. The Soto Helix, on the other hand, that you can take whatever coffee you have at home and just use it. So do I recommend the Soto Helix to you guys? Hmm, well... It depends really. For shorter trips and on weekend hikes and when just spending time in the outdoors and if you prioritize a good cup of coffee, then yeah. But, but, but for longer hikes and especially if you want to go as light as possible, then I would say no. Then instant coffee is the one to go for, for sure. So now it is up to you guys if you want to buy one and try one. I will for sure bring it now and then, but only for shorter hikes. And that's it for today and thanks so much for watching all the way to the end. I hope you enjoyed this short little review on the Soto Helix. If you have any questions to me regarding the Helix or anything else, just leave a comment down below and I'll come back to you as soon as I can. Also don't forget to subscribe to support this channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos, and thumbs up if you like this video. And of course you did, right? Mm -hmm. And I hope to see you again next week. But for now, bye bye.